This episode is brought to you by Black Butler, parody of the Phantom Hives, a Black Butler abridged series slash parody. And by the Saga Song of Beaglesaurus. The coolest skateboarding cyborg in America fights space wizards, a corrupt American government, aliens, and more nonsense. Thank you. Hi, I'm Diva from Musical Hell, and I know the score. Broadway shutdown goes on, so we're going to take some time to look back at happier times. Today's Musicals 101 is a little overdue as it focuses on a production from over a year ago, and yet it's very relevant to current discussions on race and representation in the theater. So let's talk about Michael R. Jackson's A Strange Loop. I am a Disney usher, I'm barely scraping by, my discontentment comes in many shapes and sizes. A Strange Loop is the 10th musical to win the Pulitzer Prize for Drama, but it is the first Pulitzer-winning musical to be written by a black author, and the first musical to win prior to having a Broadway production. Jackson's semi-autobiographical concept show focuses on Usher, who is a gay black writer working a day job as an usher at the Lion King, while creating a musical about a gay black writer creating a musical about... well, you get the idea. Accompanied by a chorus of his inner thoughts, Usher struggles to create meaningful art and deal with issues of race, sexuality, identity, and the mutable nature of the self. A main theme in A Strange Loop is exploring the concept of intersectionality, the idea that the social experience is constructed by one's unique combination of race, class, gender, and other factors. Usher struggles with feeling doubly alienated as a black man rejected by the gay community and as a gay man rejected by mainstream black culture. The former is manifested in songs like Exile from Gayville, in which Usher deals with the humiliating experience of having his skin, weight, and more critiqued by the online hookup crowd, and Inwood Daddy, which features an even more humiliating encounter with a race fetishizing white man. Cause you're just a dumb monkey and the pain of it haunts you So just do what he says Because at least someone wants you white, white. The other side of the equation is represented by the specters of Usher's parents and the gospel plays of Tyler Perry. At one point, Usher is offered a job ghostwriting for Perry, and his efforts speak clearly of his discomfort with a form of black art that not only carries strong currents of homophobia, but feels only slightly removed from a minstrel show. And I know you feel like your cousin Shanitha doing better than you, cause she be out there prostituting herself to all these men to be touching her on the vagina. And I know you feel like your cousin Sheree doing better than you, cause she got the money to build herself a chateau in Atlanta. But remember Proverbs 31 and 10 says, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above ruby. All this results in a lot of conflicting and complicated feelings which Usher struggles to pin down. The song Inner White Girl is one such examination, as Usher both draws inspiration from the likes of Liz Fair, both resenting and admiring the power and privilege embodied by the white woman. She lets him feel like a human supernova, like he could conquer the earth, like he's the heir to the power and oppression, her kind of will its worth, because white girls can do anything can't they black boys must always obey their mothers white girls can do anything can't they can't they can't they but while a lot of the issues in a strange loop are specific to jackson's experience the show taps into a lot of universal feelings today resonates strongly with its declaration of fixing one's issues and the internal struggles that get in the way Usher! Hello! As requested, this is your daily self-loathing, calling with a reminder of just how truly worthless you really are. Thanks, daily self-loathing. And I suspect the cycle that's so ingrained in me, but change comes way too slow and I am in a hurry on the Long Island Railroad. There's drunken revelry, but with my white girl music, I drown out the flurry. Boundary 
Memories is a simple, soulful ballad that explores the sense of being stuck and held back by one's own behavioral patterns. Still I beat myself up, still I knock myself down, and still I flip myself off in the mirror, which makes me feel really bad, which makes me feel really good, which makes me feel like the stupidest asshole. But in the end, A Strange Loop demonstrates why diversity is important on the creative as well as the performance level. Representation is more than having faces in front of a camera or on stage, but having the platform to speak one's own unique story and truth rather than having others do it for you. Prior to the pandemic, a pre-Broadway run of the musical had been planned for last September in Washington, D.C., but as of this recording, it has been pushed back to summer 2021. So hopefully when this is all over, we'll get to see a strange loop play for a wider audience. I'm Diva, I know the score, and now, so do you. Big black and queer as American Broadway. Big black and queer as American Broadway.